This is a short instructional video on how to install Nodes CG for Smash. I've been getting a lot of questions from people who are confused about these instructions, so I thought I'd make a little video uh, to make everything clearer. So the first thing you want to do is install Git. Just follow the link here, go to gitscm.com and click Downloads for Windows. And once you've done that, uh, when you install Git, Make sure that on this screen, you select Use Git from Windows Command Prompt. Make sure this is selected or else nothing after this will work. Everything else you can just leave as default. Uh, I won't finish this installation because I already have Git installed. Then once you've done that, you want to install NodeCG. In order to do that, go to NodeCG.com and then follow these commands exactly. So. Um, what you want to do is open the folder where you want to install NodeCG, uh, shift right click in that folder, click open command window here, that will open a, co a command prompt window in that folder, and then you can type these commands in one by one. So do git clone uh, this, cd nodeCG, npm install production, and then for Bower install it might say that Bower is not recognized, in which case you should do npm install dash g bower. That'll install bower onto your computer and then you can do bower install. Then uh, to test it do node index.js I'll do that now node index.js and make sure that you're in uh, the node cg folder when you do this or else it won't run. Of course uh, if you, if you did cd node cg earlier, then you will already have, be in the node cg folder. And now it says node cg running on localhost colon 9090. So you can go to that address. And you can see that there's a dashboard, except there's nothing on it because we haven't installed the bundle yet. So the next thing we want to do is install node cg cli. Uh, to do that, first exit out of node cg using control c. Just take control c and that'll exit and then enter npm install dash g node cg cli. I've already done that so I won't do it. And then once you've done that, what you can do is enter node cg install mparkms node cg for smash. Again, I won't do this because I've already done it, but that will uh, uh, download the node cg for smash bundle into your bundles folder in the node cg installation. Then once you've done that, you can do node-cg start to run node-cg. And make sure that uh, you, when you, whenever you do node-cg node -CG start, that's in the folder where node-cg is installed. And uh, if you're not very familiar with the command prompt, uh, remember that you, you can just open a command prompt in that folder by going to that folder in Windows Explorer and doing shift right click open command window here. Now, oh, that's right, I haven't installed uh, NodeCG for Smash in this folder yet. So I'll do NodeCG install mparkms NodeCG for Smash. That'll just download and install the, that bundle. It won't take very long. Now once you've done that, you can do node cg start. It'll say mounted node cg for smash extension. And then you can go to localhost 9090 again, and then you'll see that there are panels. If at this point these panels are screwed up, uh, nothing showing up correctly, then what you want to do is you want to quit out of uh, node cg using uh, control C and then run Bower install and once again if Bower is not recognized do npm install dash g Bower. If you've done that the next step is to install CLR browser. CLR browser is a OBS plugin that allows you to show web pages onto uh, in your OBS. This is important because all of NodeCG's graphics are web pages. Uh, you might have used this before if you haven't uh, install it by just downloading these files and extracting it to these folders. Uh, and then once you've done that, what you can do is open OBS, 
excuse the duplication here, and then uh, I won't be able to show you right now because I am doing a recording, but if you open the scene collection menu up here, there will be an option that says import. Uh, click import and then find in NodeCG there's bundles, NodeCG for Smash, OBS scene.xconfig. Uh, open that file and then that'll import the, the default NodeCG overlay into OBS. And um, at this point, it might not show up correctly if your resolution, if your OBS resolution is set to something less than 1920 by 1080 because the scene collection is built for 1920 by 1080. If that's the case, then either up your resolution to 1920 by 1080 or just resize everything to make it fit. And another thing is that uh, the graphics might not show up on OBS at first, but if you click update on each of these panels, they'll show up. Next is if you want to use the scene transition panel here that lets you change scenes through the dashboard then what you can do uh, what you have to do is install OBS remote go to obsremote.com uh, download the installer run the installer restart OBS and then in OBS go to plugins OBS remote configure and then uncheck use password authentication uh, this is because uh, no CG for Smash doesn't support password for OBS Remote yet. Then, uh, if you've done that, you can click Update Scenes and you'll be able to see your scenes. Next up is the Bracket Panel. So if you want to use the Challenge, the Pull from Challenge feature here, what you'll need to do is put in the Challenge API key. To do that, go to uh, no CG for Smash, Extension, no challenge ext.js edit and then where it says enter API key here put your challenge API key. Uh, where do you get the challenge API key? If you go to challenge.com uh, and then in your account settings there should be a developer option where you can generate uh, an API key and then just paste that in restart node CG and then the the challenge feature should work. If you're having problems with the installation at any point, uh, this troubleshooting installation page might be useful for you. If nothing here applies or nothing in there works, then you can either open an issue here on GitHub or tweet at me at Kavistar. Uh, I hope this has been a ho helpful video to uh, people who want to install NodeCG for Smash. If you have any questions or problems, uh, feel free to tweet at me at Kavistar once again. And uh, yeah, I hope this has been helpful.